Hello there. Welcome again to Arches Dishes. This is yet another beautiful day for us to learn an easy peasy delicious meal together. Now once you're here, it means you like being here watching me and cooking with me. So please, I want you to do one thing only. I want you to hit that like button. If you like this video, get subscribed and turn on your notification bell to be posted anytime I put up a new video. Now let's get right into this video. Today I'll be sharing with you all how I make my spaghetti stir fry with cabbage stew and chicken flakes. This is going to be a fun video because I have a few tips to share, so please enjoy. For starters, we have to clean our ingredients, okay? We have to wash our ingredients clean before we start cooking. So I'll be cleaning my onions. I'm using red onions and I'm using a whole large onion and one other half of the large onion, as well as a whole bulb of garlic. Okay, so now I have my onions and garlic all cleaned up. So I'll be taking this to my chopping board and it's chop chop time. I have to chop this up so that I'll be able to use it in my stew. So here is how I chop my onions for my stew in thin slices. I feel this is the most easiest and common method that everyone uses for their stews, even in Ghana. So, this is the best method for you to use in your stews. So for this last part of the onion, I'll be using a different technique. I'll be chopping this up in the chunkier size or in the larger size compared to the first one because I'll be using this particular one in my stir fry and I don't want the onions to disappear while I'm frying with the other vegetables. That is why I made it a bit larger compared to the first one. Now to the garlic. I'll be chopping this up because I want these bad boys to get as small as possible because I want to prevent blending them up. I will be using this in my stir fry so I don't want to have a blended mixture of them. I just want them to be in smaller bits. So one might ask what the importance of prepping your meal is and I will tell you what prepping is to me. Prepping is simply preparing your ingredients or making your ingredients ready before you start cooking. I have been able to achieve the sizes that I want for my garlic and this is it. So I have this ready, I'll be going to the next ingredients. Next is my main source of protein for today and I'll be using chicken flakes or sausages as we commonly call them. I'll just be giving this a large chunky size because that is how I like them and that is how I want them to be in my stew. Guys, you know as much as I love this meal, it's one of those dishes that goes easy on me after I've had a long day or after I'm very tired from a very stressful day. So I use this meal or this particular method whenever I've had a long tiring day. We can't forget the veggies, can we? No, we can't. So I just got this little um, carrot that was left in my fridge here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna give the, this um, these sizes and I'll be adding my cucumber because I want the coolness to be infused in my food but I will be removing all the seeds. Some people prefer to leave the seeds on but when I'm going to be cooking this, I love to remove the seeds from it. Now that all the seeds are gone, I'll be using this half for my stew and it will be going in the stew and in the stir fry. But the other half will not be going into the stew so I'll be chopping that one separately or differently in a different shape. Now 
now we're done with the first half for the second half it will look quite thinner and the shape will not look anything like the first one because we wouldn't be adding it to the stew neither will we be adding to the stir fry for this one my knife skills were really at its way <laughs> yeah i was trying to show a little bit of skill here and there you know but then yeah but this one it wouldn't be going into the stew neither will it be going to the stir fry so i just added the last bit of it into the first part and here are my ingredients we are done with our prepping and it saved us a lot of time and it's going to save us a lot of rahala whilst our cooking has begun so I have your garlic onions the chunky and the thinly sliced ones I also got some cilantro that I'll be adding into my stir fry I'm just going to give this about a centimeter chop I also got some lettuce some dill some parsley and i think that will be all yeah some parsley as well and some curry leaves yes so let's go over this guys so we know we are ready to cook i'll be using some diced and sliced onions some tomato paste lettuce parsley cilantro curry leaves dill and some diced garlic I'll also be using some diced and sliced kakimba, some carrots, and my favorite basils. I'll also be using some chicken flanks or sausages. I'll also be using some shrimp based seasonings. Now we are going to start with the cooking. So to my warm pot I'll be adding 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil and then I'll be frying my sausages in them so that um, it's bounced up a little bit. And then I'll add my next ingredient to it so that it cooks together with it. After my sausages are done frying, there will be no need for me to take them out because I'll be stirring them together with my sauce for today. So for the process, I'll just be adding the next ingredient so that it cooks together. And that will be my red onions. They will go in here. My thinly sliced red onions. They'll be frying together until they're caramelized very well. And then I'll add my next ingredient to it. So at this point guys, we've done so well to get our base ready, but then it's lacking some flavor. So we have to infuse this African flavor into it, okay? And that is why I'll be adding these green fresh peppers. It's going to be adding this nice unique flavor to us too. I'll also be adding some smoked paprika. I'm using smoked paprika today because I don't want my stew to be too spicy. So we're going to keep stirring to incorporate all the flavors together and everything together so we increase the cooking method and remember to keep your fire on medium heat so that you don't burn your sauce. Now that I've added my tomato paste, I'm going to be stirring it in there and then be adding some water bit by bit so that it doesn't splash or it doesn't spit all over me and hurt me or have some kitchen accidents. So I'm just going to be stirring this in and just give it a time and space to cook. So guys, for me, this is the perfect time for me to add my herbs. My basil goes in first and then my curry leaves comes in second. I'll keep stirring this in and just add some water bits by bits as I said earlier. And then just give this the space to cook. So here is our stew that is almost done now. I'll be seasoning this with the onga seasoning that I showed you earlier. That was the onga shrimp based seasoning. You are still here and I know you are loving this video already, okay? So don't forget to hit the like button. Come on, just hit it. Because I know you are here and you are here to stay. And also don't forget to subscribe. I just added my curry powder and curry powder changes steering levels to a whole different height okay i just added three bay leaves because as you guys know i love herbs okay we we can't deal with that okay <laughs> Okay, so this is our last part. I already put in my first batch of my chopped cabbage and this is the second part of it. The rest of the vegetables will follow. 
please guys don't forget to subscribe okay you are here and you're here and you're loving it and i know you're here to stay so please come on just hit up the subscribe button share to your friends so that they all end together with me Here goes our last ingredient, that is our diced cucumber, okay? That is the last part of our ingredients for our cabbage stew. Now we are going to be cooking our spaghetti. You guys know I always come at a fun treat, and today it was no exemption. I have all the ingredients I used with its exact measurements down in the description box. So please go down there and check it out. Cooking the pasta, of course, is the easiest part, but have you ever wondered why you always end up with pasta that has been stuck together or that has been overcooked? Here's why. Once the pasta is cooked, most people strain it in a colander and just leave it there to cool. This is going to enable the cooking process to continue. You have to stop the cooking process so that it doesn't stick together. And here is a tip that I used. Once my pasta has cooked through perfectly, I strain it again in a colander and then run it under cold water. The cold water enables the cooking process to stop. Once I've done that, I drain the cold water and toss it in a few tablespoons of vegetable oil and then allow it to cool down. For my stir fry, I used one tablespoon of cooking oil and then put my garlic, my chopped garlic from before in there. I also added some chopped peppers and then I'm going to add my sliced sausages and just saute this together. I keep stirring this because I don't want the pot to burn and I don't want my veggies to go burning as well. So now this is the perfect time for me to be adding my chunks of red onions. So stir frying is really simple. All you have to do is to toss them in there and allow them to cook gently one by one, one after the other I mean. So just keep tossing them in there and keep stirring, just keep stirring because once you leave it, it's going to start burning, so keep stirring. In goes my diced cucumber and then my basil will follow. Yes, I used some violet basil here, it's okay if you have the green ones. I also added a tablespoon of soy sauce here. Here, the soy sauce is going to be a source of seasoning as well as some source of flavor. Now in goes our spaghetti. So keep your spaghetti in here and then keep stirring. Once all your spaghetti goes in there, stir very well so they are all combined to get a perfect color or perfect combination that you want and that is it that is all this is your dinner this is your lunch you are ready to eat you are ready to be served and this is the final look of how everything went together and it was so so yummy trust me it was so delicious thank you guys so much for watching this video Give this video a like if you enjoyed cooking with me. Tell me what you think I saw in the comment section below. And if you do try this post, tag me on Instagram at address dishes. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!